This is English with Malcolm. Welcome to the Versus series. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences and similarities between constant and consistent. Let's get started. Now, these two words, constant and consistent, are very closely related. They're very closely linked. So what makes these words similar? What makes these words similar is that these are both adjectives that are used to describe something that is unchanging or happening continuously in some way. Again, both of these words are similar in the fact that they are both discussing or describing something that is unchanging or continuing to happen in some way. To be more specific, something is constant if it doesn't stop, if it's continuous. Although it may vary, it may experience some sort of change, let's say a change in rhythm, a change in behavior. Something is consistent if it's also continuous, but the topic of the subject's consistency does not vary. It doesn't vary. There's something about it that stays the same. So there's a constant knocking on the door. It won't stop. There's a consistent knocking on the door. It won't stop. So you can substitute the word consistent with constant, but not the other way around. And we'll be more specific about this later on. Let's get to some examples and we'll break them down further in the video. Example one, I'm constantly getting sick all year long. Example two, I'm consistently getting sick all year long. You can typically use the word consistent to mean constant, but not vice versa, not the other way around. So let's dive into that first example again that we just gave. He's a very consistent person. That's great, that makes sense. Maybe he has some habits that he sticks to. He's consistent. He doesn't really stop in his consistency, not yet. You can stop when you're consistent, right? We can't say something like, he's an unusually constant person. That doesn't make any sense at all, actually, because a person is always a person. I've never seen a person change into a frog right in front of me. That's just me, though. Our second example, the Washington Warriors are a very consistent team. They tend to lose a lot. Sometimes they win, but they consistently lose most of their matches. Now, this can be a little tricky because you can substitute consistent with constant in most cases. So let's go back. The Washington Warriors are a very constant team. No, you can't trade it there. A constant team can't really be a constant thing. They tend to lose a lot. Sometimes they win, but they constantly lose most of their matches. Now that makes sense. They constantly lose something. They constantly do something. They constantly verb. Constant verbing. So again, constant and consistent are very closely linked, but they aren't always interchangeable. To differentiate between the two, think about whether or not the subject of the topic of your sentence you're describing changes often or shifts, or does it stay the same? So does it change a lot? Is it constantly shifting? Or does it stay the same? Is it consistent? Well, remember, you can usually substitute the word consistent with constant, just not the other way around.